What's up everyone, my name is Spitfire and welcome to another reaction. This is something weird. Uh, if you don't know about my channel, which I keep everything up on my channel because you can see how I progressed. Don't watch it. It's all fucking cringy. But I used to be a, a brony or a pony reactor, which I would react to uh, random uh, uh, MLP fan stuff in the show. And to most of that stuff, most of the show was blocked and no one could watch it. So I stopped watching the show and guess kind of forgot about it. Uh, now I switched to anime and but I am still kind of a fan. I haven't watched the show in about a year and a half so but I still like all the fan content and try to keep up with at least the news and just try to keep up with that stuff. But I used to be a huge fan. As you can tell, I have a Spitfire plush back there. I thought I'd put it out because right now we're reacting to, uh, you know, totally, re totally legit recaps by DWK. And this is, uh, Forever Philly, uh, Parental Gui Glidance, uh, I think is the name of the episode, I forgot, and hard to say anything. I haven't watched, I guess I haven't watched season six. It's been about two, I think it came out two years ago, I believe, a year ago, and uh, it's been, it's been a while. Um, but these are all good episodes. I have nothing bad to say about these episodes. They're all fine episodes. Forever Philly is kind of iffy, but it's still a really fun episode. Paradox Glidance is like amazing because we finally get to see some more parents. I heard say anything is kind of uh, hit or miss with people, but. I think, uh, you know, it's a fun episode. But enough of me explaining my past uh, and being super cringy. Let's get into this. Here we go. We have for, and we actually have his classic style. It's been forever since I watched him, so it'll be a okay, fresh. So, Sassy is like. <laughs> and Rarity's like, darling. Bam, what's that perfume you're wearing? It's called Desperation. Oh, that's a cool name. Who makes it? Single Can females over 40. Now fucking help me take wow. inventory. This place is falling apart. No, it's not, dude. Just calm the hell down. Why does taking inventory have to involve so much running around and heavy breathing? Because my diet is 90% wow. amphetamines, and if I stop moving, I'll have a stroke or a nervous breakdown. Anyway, they're fixing up the boutique, and Rarity okay. stumbles across this picture of her and Sweetie B, and she's like, oh, God, I never see my sister anymore. And Sassy's all, well, you could just like, go see her. Oh shit, you're right. Good call. And I'm like, yeah, that sure is easy. It's a good thing you're a successful, functional person and that sweetie doesn't yes. have a better career than you and a boyfriend who thinks you're a creepy fucking autist taking up all her time. You probably only see each other once a month and she'd just kind of look at you and sigh in disappointment, wondering how the older siblings she was so close with and looked up to when you guys were kids could devolve wow. into such a degenerate loser. That would all probably make it a lot harder, but fortunately, that's not the case. I had to put two final points on it, but so we're at the CMC HQ and the Phillies are just kicking back a little between consultations, but then... No. Oh, Jesus Christ, no. No! Anything right. but this! Look, obviously I make a lot of jokes about the show and talk a lot of shit because that's literally my job now, but like 90% yeah. of it is just bants. I'm just having a laugh and ribbing it like you would a friend who got drunk and slept with a really fat chick or something. There are very oh, few wow. things in this show that actually legitimately bug me, but this little... Mm. Every time she opens her wow. mouth, I just want to pluck that little tiara right off the top of her head and shove it down her fucking... And Rarity's like... Yes, who's here to spend the whole day with a little sister? Rarity, you never stop being the best. Every time I think you can't be any more amazing, you prove me wrong. And if you were real, I would marry you or die trying. Wow. The best horse is like, <laughs> darling, die, sis, die what's cracking? How you been? Martinis all around. We're hanging out today. Rarity, I'm too young to drink, and judging by the what? fact that you just punched yes. a little girl in the head, I'm gonna say you had enough on the train ride over. Lighten up, sweetie Belle. It's my day off. Yeah, well, it's not mine, bitch. I'm working here. <laughs> anyway, Zipper will dies of inner cranial trauma and AB and Scoot's barrier in a shallow <laughs> yes. grave behind the clubhouse while the sisters yes. go out it's for an evening on the town. And Sweetie B's like, bruh, why a puppet show? You love puppet shows, dude. I did when I was, like, seven. Well, how old are you now? I turned 12, like, two months ago. 
<laughs> yes. Oh, so okay, works. let's have ice cream then. I got you the tiny little size because you're a tiny little kid, not a rapidly growing teenager whose maturation is forcing me to confront the prospect of aging and even my own mortality. Uh, Rarity, if... You need okay, to talk then. about something else. Balloons! Look, dude, I know I'm not an adult yet, but I'm kind of at that age where I want to start acting like one a little more, and this is eroding my self-confidence pretty badly. Dude, who doesn't like balloon animals? All right, fair point, but you're still acting like fair a fucking point. crazy person. Meanwhile, A.B. and Scoots are just dicking around, taking the day off, because Zipperwool's dead, and they have nothing to do. And Sweetie's <laughs> like, man, I think my sister's having an existential crisis. Hey, man, you're the kid, yeah, and she's the like adult. It. It's not your job to talk sense into her. I'm starting to think that might not always be true. I hope you never have to deal with someone you look up to acting unreasonable like this, Scootaloo. Hey, look, if she's being <laughs> crazy, just beat her with a shovel and make her bitch. sleep outside for a night. That's how we do out on the farm. Thanks, man, but I kind of need a more suburban solution. Oh, man, I ain't got shit then. The sweetie's like, God damn it, Rarity, I'm too old to dress up in stupid costumes and get my picture taken. And Rarity's like, hey, I'm way, I, I mean, I'm a little bit older than you and I'm enjoying it. That's because you're a borderline HPD case on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Wow. Look, I get that treating me like a little kid keeps you from thinking about your own mortality, but denial won't change how short our lives are. I'm not even scared of death. I just don't want to get old. Age is just a number, Rarity. Yeah, and when the number goes too high, you get all ugly and gross. I'll have to get Botox every two months and take diet pills and spend a fortune on skin creams and hair dye just to look decent. Oh, be wow. sassy saddles. Bruh, you're not even 30 <laughs> yet. Don't say that number. Just fucking deal with it, you autist. Dude, I'm so sorry. I just, I'm actually happy with my life the way it is right now, and I know how rare that is, so the thought of it changing terrifies me. Yeah, man, but you might love the next part of it just as much or even more, only you'll never know if you spend all your time clinging to the past instead of making the effort to evolve and embrace new shit. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry about all this, dude. I should be the one telling you this stuff. You're being more grown up than me right now. Hey, nobody wow. can act like an adult all the time. We gotta take turns or we really will go fucking crazy. Thanks, dude. Normally I'd say it's martini time, but I guess that's a bad idea since you're kind of 12. Hey, how about binge eating? I am so binge fucking eating. down. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, Apple Bloom's like, Scootaloo, I think Rainbow Dash is rubbing off on you. And Scoot's like, um, yeah, she tried that once on, uh, Margarita Night, but I kicked her real hard and she stopped. Uh, oh. no, I just meant this was a really, really bad idea. Yeah, damn, it would really suck if I ended up crippled, right? Or, God forbid I died, those loving parents of mine, they'd be so devastated. Okay, yeah, yeah I, I see your point. I'm not stupid, dude, I just have point. nothing to lose. Hey, man, we'd be wow. sad if you died, then... Why are you helping me do this? Because we have shit judgment too? So Scoot is being metal as fuck today and slingshots herself into Cloudsdale in service yeah. of her never-ending quest to stalk Rainbow Dash. I mean, ostensibly it's for a school project, but that just seems like a convenient alibi. Anyway, she yeah. makes it, but sadly ends up in the wrong place at the wrong time and gets her head cut off by a lawnmower. The end. <laughs> the end. <laughs> oh gosh. That's, I'm just kidding, yeah. but I, I got you, didn't I? Didn't I? Did I get you? Anyway, no. actually, she ends up in the exact right place at the exact right time because look who she runs into. Now, I could make a big fucking to-do about the fact that this guy, Dash's dad, is clearly not the same person as this guy who we saw during the flashback in Games Ponies Play, and I could be yeah. like, so if this is her dad, then who is this? But I'm not completely fucking retarded, so I can reason that obviously at the time back in 2013, it was being implied that this guy was Dash's dad, but since yeah. it was never stated canonically, when they decided to do this episode and wanted to go with a different design, they could still do so while maintaining at least technical plausibility. Moreover, yeah, I don't that. fucking care, but I know it's one of those things where if I didn't mention it, I'd get a bunch of people bitching about it in the comments because somehow after a year and some change, it seems like a solid 25% of the people watching these videos still think this is an analysis channel. So really, the yeah. reason I bring it up is to it's segue really. into a simple message to those people. Shut the fuck. Holy shit, Dash's mom is hot. Does RD have siblings? I, she must, because if I was dude right here, I'd be pumping that oven full of batter on a nightly wow. basis. 
Wow. Oh, Jesus Christ, I spilled on myself. Anyway, these are Dash's <laughs> parents. Grow hot hoof and wet your whistle. And as fate would have it, they spurg out over their daughter as much as Scoot does. So they're showing her all those things you always hope your parents never show anyone, and Papa True. Dash is like... Never happened to me, though. Early learner. Our little dashy, our little oh, dashy. No. Oh, no. Well, I desperately oh, no. want to believe that this is just a coincidental combination of very common words. All of my instinct says it isn't. You bastards know exactly what you're doing, don't you? So they interrupt Rainbow and her crew while they're practicing, and Spitfire is actually really cool about it, but Fleetfoot's making this fucking face the whole <laughs> yeah. time, man. I know I say it whenever she shows up, but this chick makes me real fucking nervous, dude. Ever since the first First time I heard her yeah, say, geez. I just felt really <laughs> uncomfortable anytime she's around. Oh god, she's stopping. She's looking right at Dash's dad. What's she gonna? Oh, oh fuck me. She's going over there. And Fleet Foot Sir, you really raised a great fly. Oh, that's a really normal, nice thing to say. Yes, but it's also, very normal. if you pull this shit again, I will bite your motherfucking face off. I will bite that shit off and save it in a pickle jar and then run around at night chasing little kids wearing your fucking <laughs> face. An entire <laughs> generation of little fillies and cults will grow up thinking you're the boogeyman. All right, catch you later. And dude just starts crying and Dash is like, yeah, that's Fleetfoot. She's kind of a goofball. And then um, some some stuff happened. Wow. And so Rainbow's all, God Good fucking job. damn it, Scootaloo, why'd you bring them here? And Scoots is like, dude, get this, you forgot to tell them you were a Wonderbolt, so I decided to do you a solid and show them. No need to thank me. Bro, do you think I'm fucking retarded? Yep. Wait, you're supposed to say no, and then I say yes, yeah, so there's a reason that... It, look, look, shut the fuck okay. up. Hey, they treat me like I'm still a little kid who needs praise for wiping my own ass. It drives me fucking crazy, and if they're hanging around, I'm either gonna get pissed off and yell at them, or they'll end up as the newest additions in Fleetfoot's pickled face collection. <laughs> Have you ever, uh. you know talk to them about this. Oh my god, Wendy looks just like Rainbow here, and no, not because of the hat. I can tell that's actually not Dash's face. I mean, their colors are so similar that when her hair is covered up, the only way to tell the difference is the freckles. Obviously, they're related, yes. so it makes sense, but it just made me think. Other than a few outliers, every pony female has the same body, so whenever we all get in our little arguments about which one is the cutest, we're literally just fighting over color schemes, hairdos, and the occasional difference in eye shape. With that in mind, is it yeah. really so surprising that this fandom is such an autism magnet when one of our longest running debates essentially boils down to which colors and shapes are the prettiest. I'm just saying. Yeah. Then the Wrens fuck up the actual yeah. Wonderbolts show and already. almost kill Fleetfoot and their own daughter with the rocket and I'm like, oh, they're just well-meaning idiots who fuck shit up because they're obsessive and devoted but lack any self-awareness whatsoever. They really are Rainbow yeah. Dash's parents. And Fleetfoot's all, Dash, either you make the stop right now or I will make a suit out of your parents' skin and fuck you while wearing it. And Rainbow's like, oh, Fleetfoot. Oh. There's oh, no. something really wrong with you. If There's only they aimed that firework just a little to the left. Even if you discount the fact that Dash has no visible horseshoes, her flight suit clearly goes over the bottoms of her feet. How the hell does this make any sense? Anyway, finally Dash wow. is like, hey, right. you guys are sucking me off so hard this probably qualifies as incest. Now get the fuck out before I slap wow. you or Fleetfoot starts removing pieces of your body. So Scootaloo does this whole saddy pants bit and Dash is all, bruh, you don't fucking get it. I've been dealing with this shit my entire life. Life. When something's been bothering yes. you since you were a kid, it can be really hard to be cool about it because it puts you back in that headspace from when you were young and confused about your feelings. No, man, I do get it. Most people have an elaborate interconnected web of bullshit with their parents that spans a lifetime, and I guess it's not fair for an outsider sure. to come bursting in and start making judgments. But part of becoming an adult is processing those clusterfucks of poorly defined emotion you had as a kid and dealing with them in a constructive manner. Jesus Christ, man, you're like 12. How are you saying all <laughs> wow. these? psychologist words. Because this is the part of the video where this pretentious pseudo-intellectual faggot does the oh-so-deep life lesson bit and I'm the only other character in this scene. Now shut the fuck up. Anyway, it's not that your feelings about this thing don't matter or that there isn't a problem, but the way you handled it was shitty. Like Ironing out long-standing where... familial problems is hard, but that's what being a grown-up is. Doing adults. hard stuff now because it benefits you and your own in the long run. Control. Damn, dude. You're right. I should probably be the one telling you this stuff. Huh? No, man, that line worked with Rarity and Sweetie Belle last week, but you and me, <laughs> no. Yeah. Yes. It's still a cute design.
<laughs> All right, so AB's like, hello, older brother Big Mac. Are you delivering those apples to that village where our friend Starlight Glimmer used to live? And Mac's like, yep. And Sweetie Bee's all, wow, that place sure is a long distance from this place we're in right now, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah it definitely is. I believe you've been there five times in the past week. Is that correct? Yeah. That certainly is a lot of times to go to a particular place in one week. Yep, it sure yes, is. Catch is. you guys later. Did you ever pop that giant zit you had on your inner thigh? Because that thing was nasty. Okay, yeah, you can stop now. Remember that time in high school you went through that experimental phase and AJ nicknamed you Nancy Boy? I said stop. So, Scoot it's like Pussy. Yeah, let's follow him and wow. see this piece of ass he's into. Sounds like a plan. Yo, guys, do you think that maybe this is none of our business and for once we should just stay the fuck out of it, you know, especially considering our track no. record with this kind of shit? Scoot, I know you're kind of in the dark on this shit, but family is an implicit contract. See, no matter how bad you fuck up in life, your fam's always there to catch you. It's that one final immutable safety net that remains when everything else is crashed and burned around you. However, in exchange for that unconditional yeah. love and solidarity, I we have exclusive exclusive unlimited rights there. to fuck around in each other's personal business. It's a give and take. So what justifies the two of us tagging along? Well, I don't actually give a shit. I was just making a point. And would you <laughs> look at that? Our homeboy's really here to see a chick. But I mean, you know, maybe she's a repeat customer who just needs a lot of shipments. Sure, at first I was like, that's a suspiciously large amount of apples. But then I thought about how many beers I drink in a week. And if I lived in Equestria, the beer delivery pony would probably wow. think I wanted to fuck him. Now that I think about it, I hope Same the guy at the liquor store juice. doesn't think that. Oh, wait, no, she wants the like dick. Everywhere. She wants the dick. God damn it, Big Thank Mac, God. you listen to me, and you listen good. You, my friend, have a chance that neither I nor any of these sorry sons watching this video will ever have. What? You can fuck the pony pussy, bro. Not just for yourself, but for all of us. You are a very literal self-insert, and it is your duty to Do every it. guy watching this Do to it. pound that tight little marshmallow pony ass because we never will. This is your chance to be part of something greater than yourself to be our glorious knight our standard bearing champion our personal pony pussy pounding paladin proxy you cannot you must not fuck this up because if you do we are all of us damned and sweetie's all dude she wants it bad but he's got the game of a fucking preschooler all right gals it's time for our most important mission yet let's get my brother some ass so the cmc's are like yo mac do you like sugar bell Fam, you gotta tell her. I don't know, man. But if you don't, you'll never know for sure if she feels the same way, and you could miss out on a lifelong relationship of mutually supportive love and affection. Uh, Dude, she might suck your yeah. dick, though. Okay, good point. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> good point, though. Hey, girl. So this is our antagonist for the episode, Finger Bangs, and I cannot fucking <laughs> stand him. I know he's just a one-off no. gag character, yeah. and he succeeds in that purpose because he makes me gag, and I want to rub one off on the next meal of whoever designed him. And Finger Bangs is like, These balls are like you. If I was a chick and some guy said those words to me, I'd be like, buddy, the next part of the sentence better fucking dazzle me or you're going home with a broken jaw. Also, these look like anal beads, I'm just saying. Hey, check it out. Dudes fangirls are pornified versions of those three chicks from Beauty and the Beast that made my weenie feel funny when I was a kid. So, the Phillies wow. decide that the best way wow. to get Big Mac laid is to rob Sugar Bell and have him stop them. And at first I was like, Mac, okay. should you really be taking relationship advice from three 12-year-old girls? Then again, you're a massive fucking Spurg, and at least they're trying shit, so I guess it's better than it's, nothing? You know, what the hell? I think time, after I this video, I'm gonna go down to the elementary school across town and ask a few little girls if they can help me get laid. I, I'll let you guys know how it goes. <laughs> oh, hey, this is a normal work. thing to do. Hey, guys, if you want to ask a chick out, just wait until she falls asleep, spy on her with binoculars for a little bit, and then go suck her face while she's still unconscious. So then they have this that. fucking music battle, and I'm just like, no, stop. Oh, and yeah, apparently Sugar Bell feels exactly the same way, because she's all, Hey, country freestyle is not a fucking genre, you yokel piece of shit. And you, you Justin Bieber-ass motherfucker. You must be a goddamn pedophile, because no one over 14 would want to fuck you after hearing that shit. Now both of you fuck oh, off. Wow. And Big Mac's all, Dude, I should have just thought for a second and done something that was personally meaningful for her instead of listening to all your dumbass ideas. And AB's like, Well, yeah, probably, but you were just going to give up and go home. I mean, yeah, our ideas are dumb, but that's because we're tween age girls. What the fuck do we know about the social conventions surrounding adult courtship rituals other than the shit we read in romance novels? Okay, fair enough. I guess 
I was asking for trouble. But hey, to your credit, at least you kept me in the game long enough for me to pull my head out of my ass. So I guess our lesson of the day is fucking up is better than giving up. Yeah, and actually thinking about what the hell you're yeah. doing is better than either. So, Mac Daddy builds Sugar Tits a new and improved display for a shop to replace the one he wrecked. And she's like, holy shit, dude, this is fucking sick. I've been dying to try baking cream pies and cream pies and cream pies wow. and cream pies. Do I even need to actually make the joke? I feel like you guys could just write my scripts for me at this point. And he's like, oh my god, please let me put my penis in you. <laughs> I like you too. Ladies and gentlemen, our victorious champion, Big Mac, you did good, son. And when you're pounding her sweet, candy-colored ass tonight, we'll all be there with you in spirit. And the CMCs are all, hey, puss cake, you lost the game, so go fuck one of those whores. Or all of them. And Finger Bang's like, what should I say to them? Are you kidding me, bro? I'm pretty sure as long as you don't stick it in their eye sockets, they're cool with anything. Actually, wow. I'm down for skull fucking if you're into that. Dude, if you can't swing this, just fucking kill yourself. Wow. Oh, gosh. So that was it. I'll see you guys in the outro. So that was DWK totally legit, totally legit recap. So to say fast, but I always talk a little bit fast. It's really fun to watch them again. Uh, I know I kind of quit after the first two I watched, and those two are probably fucking as cringy as this. But still, uh, he has one of the uh, like voices the hear it and you immediately recognize. He has like the critical voice, where if you hear a critical's voice you know who it is. And if you hear his voice, you're like, yeah, that's DWK, you know? So they both have, like, that same voice where it's, like, super recognizable, and it has, like, this kind of thing for... They're both kind of made for YouTube and commentary and this kind of, like, joking and parody stuff, which works really well. Um, and he really puts, like, a kind of spin on the Mono Pony stuff and any genre that he tackles. I wish he would do more... I don't know if he does any more other things than the MOP stuff. Uh, I think he should try to get into other other stuff like the like, anime and other genres like cartoon for anime instead of just doing the My Little Pony stuff, but I think he would probably do a good job at it at, at just some random cartoon that's, you know, the same kind of thing for, like, kids. Because they always have, like, really crazy morals, but... He's right about that, first of all. You're just about the pony stuff. When you're just talking to fan like talking to other fans, they're like, yo, this pony's better, this pony's cuter, this pony better. And like he said, they all look the same. The only characteristics is this hair and eye color. And some of them do have personalities. Uh and some of them are kind of weird. But like I said, it's still rarity. Um but still it's they were all fun. I really enjoyed them. Uh Again, there's not much to really commentate over him. You're just saying a lot of like agreeing with him and disagreeing with him and just kind of like he puts, brings up some really good points. Uh, yeah, that's all I could say right there. Uh, I'm just kind of just thinking about what else to say. I forgot how, and I think I explained this whole spoiler for next season, but. You know, if you guys want me to react to more of this stuff, give me some suggestions, hit the like button, dislike it, do whatever the fuck you want, I don't control you. See you guys later, and fuck you, bye.